Well, last week's video, we got the equipment kind of set up to where we can begin to disassemble these borax wagon wheels. Now, if last week's video made you a little nervous and there's quite a few comments kind of alluding that direction, you might want to even skip this video because this one's probably even worse. Well, to get these wheels disassembled, I've got to cut the tires to get them off. As I was browsing through a local hardware store, I ran across this cutoff blade that'll fit my seven inch grinder. And it's a diamond blade made for all types of material, but it includes steel and metal. Well, I'm gonna give it a shot thinking maybe this diamond really will speed things up as I need to cut these tires off. Well, I'm not all that impressed with this diamond cutoff wheel. What took a minute and a half for you to watch was a process of an hour. Maybe it works better on other materials, but on steel, it was a slow process.
Well, the chop saw that I use is a Milwaukee chop saw, but the blades that I use on that saw are actually Makita blades. It's a 14 inch, and when they get down too small, I convert them over to my handheld grinder. The second wheel, I use that cutoff saw, and it went so quickly that I thought I would actually video the clock to show you how much quicker this blade cut these tires off compared to that diamond blade. Now these rear wheels are 80 inches tall and the tires are 8 inches wide. So they can be a little topsy-turvy, so I want to make sure that my floor is clean because it doesn't take much to get these toppled over.
Now I put these straps around these wheels to keep the spokes from pulling out of the hubs when I'm hoisting them vertically with the overhead hoist. When I put a single strap on these big wheels, I found that they were not very stable with this ridge in the center. So I actually had to go and use two straps so I had more of a stable base that I could still roll these wheels around. Well, our next step in this whole process is to go through and do the adjustments to the wood. These are what's called fellow bound, and we'll explain that more next week. Once again, thanks for watching.